Hey, recap hour over here. Today we will be summarizing a 2007 black comedy movie called Blood Car. Beware, spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The story starts with a dystopian world where the gas prices have gone up. So nobody uses a car now. We are then taken to a kindergarten where children were listening to a story about a train. After the period gets over, the teacher, Archie Andrews, goes to the roadside stall. It seemed like he knew the girl from that place. They chatted for a while. Archie bought a bottle of wheatgrass juice, after which he left. The girl, Lorraine, had a crush on Archie for a long time. Archie reached home and continued with his experiment. He is trying to develop an engine that runs on wheatgrass. This was one of his trials, which failed yet again. Archie falls onto his bed, disappointed. The next day, he goes to Lorraine's roadside stall again to buy the wheat grass. Lorraine tried to ask him out, but he rejected her. The girl from the meat stall tries to charm him with her looks and invites him over to her stall, but he refuses to pay attention to her advances, stating that he was vegan. Back home, he thinks about Lorraine's idea while checking the kids' exam papers. He decides to make some changes to his machine and starts working. While doing so, he drops a bottle of vodka. He bends down to pick it up and accidentally cuts his finger. The blood falls into the wheatgrass and goes into the machine. Surprisingly, the blades start moving and the machine starts working. Archie is surprised and delighted at the same time. His years of work finally bore some result. The next day, Archie prepared himself even before the bell rang and rushes off. After picking up the wheatgrass, Archie goes to his house. He hesitantly cuts his arms and draws some blood. He took out the sheet from his car and filled it with wheatgrass juice and blood. The test was successful and Archie took the car to Lorraine. There, he offers a ride to Denise. We notice two people following him. They were agents from the government who had kept an eye on Archie. In the car, Denise asks Archie to speed up, but Archie doesn't listen to her at first. But when she tells him repeatedly, he finally speeds up. In return, Denise gives him a kiss. The government officials keep an eye on him during this and cheer him up. Suddenly, the car runs out of gas. Denise leaves after Archie tells her that he will pick her up tomorrow. Archie gets out of the car and pushes it. At night, while looking at the fan, an idea struck him. The next day, he reached a car dump and pulled out a few parts. He went to a jungle with a gun to kill some animals for blood. It was clear he didn't want to do it, but he managed to convince himself by telling himself that it was for the greater good. He shot a squirrel and rushed to get it. Next up, he kills a dog. Picking them up and putting them inside a plastic sheet, he starts crying while walking away. This cycle continues as he starts killing other animals for his tests. He puts them inside the back of his car. He tries to start the engine using their blood, but it doesn't work. Archie loses his cool and starts shouting at the car, asking it to work. He remembers his landowner, Mrs. Butterfield, listening to him, so he apologizes. But she doesn't respond. When Archie goes to check on her, he finds her dead. An idea strikes his mind. He put Mrs. Butterfield in the car. Surprisingly, the engine of the car started working. Archie realized that the car can only run on human blood. At night, Archie took Denise to a movie and they had sex in the car. After sex, Denise says some mean things about people who weren't in a car. The next day, Archie took the car to the school. The kids were happy to see the car and rushed towards it. After school, he buys a drink from Lorraine's. He forgets to buy wheatgrass and when Lorraine questions this as she believes that the car ran from the wheatgrass, Archie remembers that and asks her to give him a bottle. He meets Denise who asks him to pick her up at nine. Archie gives the reason that he was busy, but she tells him that if he doesn't pick her up, Paul the motorcycle guy will. Archie reluctantly says yes. When he was going to pick Denise up that night, he was attacked by a robber. 
the robber holds him up at gunpoint and asks him to drive. When they reached the gas station, the robber asked Archie to fill the tank. Archie gave the reason that he already had fuel in the car, but the robber doubted his intentions. So he opened up the trunk. Seeing blood inside, he got baffled and it was at this moment that Archie hit him with the stick and put him in the truck. While he was leaving, an officer saw him. When he started coming towards him, hearing the noise from his car trunk, the robber shot a bullet. His suspicion grew. Just then a fountain of blood shoots the man and blood gets spilled all over him. Archie comes out of the car and tries to give excuses but he refuses to believe him and asks him to open the truck. Inside he also sees blood and he is scared to death. Just then Archie pushes him inside the truck and closes it. Archie closes the hole with a cloth and starts driving. He goes to the meat place to pick up Denise. When he stops his car, he starts panicking, thinking about killing people and going to jail. Just then, Denise arrives and Archie pretends that everything is okay. Meanwhile, the government officials continue keeping an eye on him. Archie refuses to have a drink on the school night, but Denise forces him to do it. After finishing her glasses, Denise goes into the bathroom and he follows her. They have sex. Days pass by, they continue to enjoy their romantic moments until one day when Archie asks Denise if he could drop her home and she refuses, stating the fact that he could later turn into a stalker. Denise leaves. Archie tries to open the door but he realizes that the key was inside and the car was locked. Archie went back to his home to get the duplicate key to open the door. After picking it up, he looked around his house remembering the good old days. That made him change his mind about going back to the car. But when he picked up his sheets, he remembered the moments he spent with Denise, thanks to that car. He decided at that moment, I can kill to get it back. And so he did. He rushed back to his car, opened it up, but found out that he was out of fuel. He noticed a physically disabled man outside. To lure him inside the car, he offered him a drive and a dinner at a fancy restaurant. The man was hungry and needed food. He couldn't resist such a generous offer and went with him. Archie forcefully put him in the truck. When the man started making noise, he beat him and killed him with his plastic arms. He threw his body parts out and drove off. The spies continued to update the headquarters with his actions. Archie realized that the man was not enough to run the car for a significant time. On the way, a woman asked him for a lift. Archie tries to lure her into going for the trunk by making the excuse of a flat tire at first, candy and makeup in the trunk the next. When the girl doesn't believe it, he tells her the lie that he has puppies in it. This time the woman believes him and goes for it. He opens up the trunk and the woman screams. Without wasting a second, he puts her inside and drives. He reaches his house and falls on the car. On waking up, he finds himself in the back seat of a car. The government officials were driving it. The officers get into an argument. Archie takes this as an opportunity and fights them off. One of the men gets thrown out of the car. The senior agent at the office orders the other one to put him in the trunk and use him as fuel to drive them there. The other one hits Archie and he loses consciousness. On waking up, he finds the man dragging his colleague. He watches the man as he puts him into the trunk. Just then, Archie uses the duplicate key to start the car. The man in the trunk opens his eyes and starts screaming from the pain. The other one keeps standing, staring at him while blood flows all over his body. Archie drives off as the other officials slap themselves. Archie goes to meet Denise, but she's gone. He chats for a while with Lorraine and then asks her for a ride. They spend quality time together and talk freely about each other's lives. They bonded. Reaching their house, Archie was nervous and asked Lorraine for some food, but she jumped over him and started moving on him. But Archie refuses to play along. After the session, Archie gets a message from Denise and goes out, leaving Lorraine in the bathroom. He notices that his car is being stolen by someone and follows him with an axe in his hand. Meanwhile, Lorraine continues to call him. 
unknowing of the fact that he wasn't there in his room. She lies down on the floor and starts crying. Meanwhile, the car runs out of fuel. One of the government officials who stole the car asked his colleague to get into the fuel tank. When he refuses, the man shoots him. When the man goes on to put him in the trunk, Archie catches up with him and sees this. He cycles at his full speed, but the man starts driving the car. Archie manages to reach the car trunk and pulls out the cloth he put there earlier. A fountain of blood comes out and gets spilled all over his clothes. Due to the leakage and without the fuel, the car stops after a while. The man comes out of the car and asks Archie to come out so that they can talk. But Archie surprises the man by attacking him with the axe, killing him. He puts him in the trunk and goes to meet Denise. On reaching the restaurant, he starts uttering rubbish words that make no sense. He started behaving strangely. When the waitress brings in the barbecue, he starts eating them up, tearing the pieces like an animal. Later, he drove the car while drinking with Denise. The sun comes up. Denise asks Archie to take her home and offers they could do nasty things. But Archie notices kids on the road and remembers about the school. He leaves Denise on the park ground and goes there. He puts on his coat and starts telling them a story. Just then, the government official came inside and asked him to go with them. They also inform him that his car has hit a tree. Archie goes with him into a room where he meets Donald William. He was a government official. He offers him any position he wants provided he can create more blood cars after the original is destroyed and his existence is erased. Archie is concerned about the source of fuel for the new cars and the federal agents promise him it will come from invalids, convicted criminals and the homeless. Archie agrees. Meanwhile, the government agents murder Lorraine, Denise, his kindergarten students and anyone that saw him developing the blood car. Archie chooses to be the president of the US. Rated 5.2 on IMDb, this movie has a total runtime of 76 minutes. Make sure you take some time out of your busy schedule to watch it. What do you think about the movie? Tell me in the comment section below. Press the like button if you love the concept of the movie. Do subscribe, it helps the channel grow. Thank you.